this is Estelle with your more Brazilian recipe for you. Today we are going to make bolo de coco gelado, cold coconut cake. It's a well-known dessert in Brazil and it's delicious. Here are the ingredients you are going to need for this recipe. For the cake you are going to need two cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, three eggs that you need to separate between egg oak and eggs white, two tablespoons of butter, two cups of sugar, and one cup of milk at room temperature. I usually put the milk for one minute in the microwave. And for the dressing, you are going to need one can of condensed milk, coconut milk, that you are going to use the condensed milk to measure the quantity you needed, milk, that you are going to use the condensed milk can to measure how much you needed, and a 100 grams of shredded coconut that you can find in the Brazilian store or in your local store. Also, you are going to need a 13 by 9 glass pan that you need to spray a um, baking spray with flour, like pan. You are going to need a blender and a mixer. And now we are going to start with the cake. We are going to preheat the oven to 350 um, degrees Fahrenheit. Now we are going to put the baking powder with the flour and mix it. So we need a tablespoon. And we are going to mix. And we are going to reserve. We are going to use a little bit later. So that's mix. Now we are going to take the egg whites and put it in the mixer and we are going to beat until it becomes big. So I'll do that. My egg whites have formed peaks. So I'm going to transfer the egg whites to another container and we can keep going with the cake. So just a second. So here's the egg whites and we are going to transfer to another container so we can use later. We are going to mix as good as we can. My God, and I think it's truly a room temperature, so I needed to fix some of that. And we are going to pour in the egg yolk. And we are going to let it mix well. Sometimes we need to stop with the blender and mix around a little bit. Oh, my oven is probably heat. That's great. Let's keep it going here. Okay. And 
Now they are well mixed together. We are going to put one third of the milk. We're going to let to blend until it becomes creamy. Now that is creamy, we are going to start to put in the flour a little bit of the time so it can mix well. Now we have the whole flour mixture in. We want to put the rest of the milk, a little bit of the time. All the milk is in, we need to wait until it's well blended. We're going to stop a little bit and clean it up around the borders. Kibara is well blended and we now are going to blend to blend now we are going to fold our egg whites so here and this out and now we are going to fold the egg whites a little bit at a time It helps the butter be fluffy, airy, and the cake will be great. So, for the last. Put it all the egg whites, now we just need to mix it well. before bake it and we are going to put it in the glass pan this is our cake batter before we bake and we are going to bake for about 35 minutes or until the toothpick come out to clean okay our cake is um, almost done so we are going to start with the dressing so we are going to put the condensed milk in the blender We're going to use our condensed milk can to measure how much coconut milk, milk we needed. So, there we go. It's almost the whole can, but it's too much if you put it all. And we are going to use our condensed milk can to measure how much milk we needed. It's a little bit more than a cup. And we are going to blend it well. We need to pour it when the cake is hot. So this is why we are doing right now before the cake be done. Now we are going to wait a little bit. As soon as the cake is ready, we are going to blend a tiny bit more. Just to mix a little bit more. And we are going to pour in the cake. Here's our cake after baked. We are going to blend again the dressing as we poke the cake with a fork. Mm -hmm. 
we need to do this part about putting the dressing as the cake is still hot. So we are going to pour now the whole dressing in the cake. After you pour the dressing in the cake, just put the coconut on it. Spread a little bit more the coconut and here you have the cold coconut cake but the cold part comes now you should have it oh, the coconut coming up oh, so I flick that in so now you need to put this in the refrigerator at least for four hours or overnight overnight is better though and you need to first wait to cool down at your own temperature and after that put in the refrigerator for four hours or overnight and if you like my recipe you can look my blog in the description see you next time and ciao